Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I've ever been so excited to make a video. So I started filming this video last Sunday. So the next clips after the intro were filmed last Sunday and then we will get in to current day. But I have been wanting this piece of furniture since I think February and our local store never had it in stock and then it had it in stock for like a day and I wasn't quite committed. I, I just couldn't I just couldn't do it then. And then I went back last Sunday and they actually had it. And so I thought they had one. And I was like, okay, this is a sign. I'm doing it. So I did it. And I cannot wait to share with you the new piece of furniture. And then I thought today we could do like a little pre-fall decorating um, of this space. So I hope you'll join me. If you're new here, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you, um, like I said, are new. And if you are returning, hello and thank you. I'm so grateful for you. But without further ado, let's, let's get going. Okay, you guys, I did a thing. Well, I absolutely love this console table, buffet table. I, it doesn't really like show, but it, the scale of it does not fit this room. And I've been talking about an arched cabinet for months now, and I finally just bit the bullet. So this, I can't get rid of this. I just cannot. So I'm going to put it downstairs and put a TV on top of it. It might be a bad idea but I cannot get rid of it and I have nowhere else to store it. So she's gonna go downstairs. We're gonna keep her. She's absolutely gorgeous and such a timeless piece that I just cannot part with her. So here she is before. It's beautiful. It's gonna change. I feel like the vibe of this room so much when we put the black cabinet in. So this is before and we'll show you after. Okay. Here she is. She's beautiful. This is the art cabinet from Sam's Club. I just wanted to give you like a little close up details of the cane on the, the doors here. Um, the only thing that I'm, I kind of want to change are these. These are like, they're very, I don't want to say cheap, but they, they kind of are. Anyway, so down here is like a storage little area. I actually am not, this came out of my buffet and it's things that we actually use so all of our white plates and then like the dog stuff which is probably not going to stay in here but i needed to get it off my counter so the boys fingerprints are all over it but um inside the, the door's just open like that and it is absolute beautiful I love the two-tone the black with the wood I think that the black really goes well in this space because it's like something to like ground it um everything in here has been such light wood um and you know white 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 on white so I just wanted something dark I told you guys months ago I was thinking of a black cabinet here and here she is. So um, I was thinking, I haven't done this yet. Like I said, we just got it. So I'm still playing around and I kind of want to just style it for fun with you guys today. But I'm thinking I'm going to add some lights in here because who doesn't think that would look amazing? I think that would be so cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. My, I, It didn't have the legs on it like right when we brought it got out of the box and my kids were like um that's for like like it was so short it didn't fit the space well but now with the legs she's beautiful but let's go ahead and clean this glass and then we will get to styling it
Okay, I want to do a like talk through because I don't know, I haven't done that for a while. No, some of you don't like it, but I'm sorry. Anyway, so there's a pretty big gap up here. And so I'm thinking I kind of want to fill this with something taller, something bigger and bolder. Add these two pots, both from Hobby Lobby. They're so good. They're not like perfectly matching, but they both have the little um, handles. This one's a little more distressed. This one's a new where I got this one last year. Um, and then I just got this one a couple weeks ago or something. But anyway, I'm going to just put those up here. I don't think I'm gonna put anything in the big one. I I might find something to put in this little one. All right, I found something to put in this little one. I picked these little stems up. I can't tell you how cute they are from Michaels recently. In this video, I wanna show you guys a little um, floral arrangement, mostly with these because it is so, so cute. Um, but I just thought that this white would pop in the, in the cabinet and I'm only gonna put one, one little stem in this pot and I just kind of want it to look like a little whimsical kind of like that so cute now for fall I will probably like add a cute little ribbon on there you know how I love ribbon but just for today we're just we're just playing because I gotta I, I don't know what I want to do in here but um these also come in and out and you can adjust the heights and stuff but i just kept them where they already were so you can do that but i think you probably want to keep them you would want to keep them evenly spaced as they are so let's move to the second shelf it wouldn't be a bookcase without books right and so i have the art of home this is a shay mcgee book and then I picked this um, Magnolia Table Book because I love the green color. Perfect for fall. And I am just going to stack those right here. And I don't, I don't think I've ever done a styling video um, like this. But so you kind of want to go diagonal. So something here. So on this side, I would put, probably put something a little more shallow, like, not as tall and so up here we have a tall base and we have a short base and so we're just going to keep these books here because they're they're short and they're kind of the same shape but different if i hope that makes sense i'm sure you guys have seen tons of videos about styling book bookshelves or open shelves you kind of want to just um go in diagonals so here here and here would be ideal so let's add to the next spot last year i decorated with these um really cute mushrooms and i recently was at hobby lobby and if you love them they have them there now so they have a few different sizes this is these two are mine from last year and this is the one from hobby lobby so they're a little different the tops these ones have a little bevel edge this one doesn't but the color nearly identical and they also have a darker wood one and like a whitewashed one so um i just think these are great for fall and i'm just going to add those here in a little grouping like like that okay she's cute now um let's let's just keep going right now on the next side i have this gorgeous bowl it is a recent purchase from Hobby Lobby. I mean, Hobby Lobby is killing it right now. And you're gonna see a shop with me video coming up in a little haul because like I said, I, they are just killing it. <laughs> I've been wanting to go every day and I haven't bought anything from Hobby Lobby in forever it seems like. So it's kind of exciting, not great for my um, checkbook. Do people even say that anymore? Probably not. Not great for my bank account. But um, stay tuned for that video because like I said, so, so many good finds. So let's just put this bowl right here. And you've seen me decorate with these, with these pairs. I was gonna say wooden pairs, but 
they're not wooden. They are indeed styrofoam. We're gonna just fill this bowl because I just love the contrast, the green adds. Green is like my color for fall this year, which is very different for me. So I'm, I'm just embracing it and loving it though. Right, right here, we are just gonna add these two little pumpkins. They're from Target last year. I haven't got my um, seasonal decor out yet. I just popped down one bin and these were in there and so was the mushroom. And um, so I thought, that's perfect. They'll look so cute in there for like a little um, fall. You know, this probably could use something to stand on or sit on, but I don't have anything. So we're gonna keep it like that. And then on the bottom, I would love to do like two little baskets, but I only have one. And so we're gonna go a little bit different, but I absolutely think it's gonna look so cute. If you've been around a while, you've seen me style this dough bowl on my kitchen table or on the little shelves over in my kitchen nook because it's so good. I love it. And I think um, it's a lighter wood. It's gonna pop off this black shelf really well. And I'm just gonna put this in the center of the shelf and just keep it pretty simple with that. And then I have these like, almost like a dead dandelion. I don't know what they are. They're from Hobby Lobby. I've seen them there this year, but I got mine last year. And I'm just gonna somehow stick these in this bowl. Kind of like that. Whoa. Maybe. Let's see. I kind of just want them poking out the bowl a little bit. There we go. I have four of them. I have another one somewhere, but all I can find is right now. Oh, excuse me, I have five. Five, I was gonna say. I don't ever buy things in four, but anyway. And I think the green, it kind of ties in with these um, little pumpkins because they're a little bit distressed green. Of course, our book, and then the greenery on that. I love it absolutely love it. Let me take you off there and I'll give you a close-up view of it and then I want to decorate either side of it. here I have a little stool again last year maybe the year before Hobby Lobby plant stand and I'm just gonna set this right here and we're gonna use something similar on the other side to kind of pull them both together the, the rustic wood on top of that I have this big pot again from Hobby Lobby got it last year and but they do have it this year and it's so good it's a good one and then I'm going to use one of these little topiaries that um, I've had for a few years. Last year I used them on my porch and I saw them in our garage. I have like a really fun update for you guys um, about our garage. And I, I, I cannot believe it. Anyway, that's either here or there. But I'm just gonna set this on uh, this little stool, kind of fluff out this little guy. 
I kind of washed them off, so I kind of bent the the uh, branches a little bit, but he was a little dusty from being in the garage, but very cute. You could do like an olive tree here if you had one. Something's tall and skinny. I'm trying to use what I have, so I'm not going to go buy a new plant. They're very expensive. So, I can't remember. This one's $79.99. This year at Hobby Lobby, it's probably $99.99 because I feel like they raised their prices like crazy. Okay, so love. It's a little crooked. Let's see if we can. There we go. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Very cute. Let's get her over a little bit. On, okay, so on this side, I'm going to put this bigger stool that my husband made because I just, I really like the, I really like it. And I think it's going to, like, it pulls that in over there. I guess I could put the same thing on that side because I have two of those trees, but I'm feeling this is a little bit more softer and I love the two things that I have for this space. So, all right, to this little bench, I'm going to add this pillow. I just barely got this yesterday. We were in Utah. They have the best targets there. And um, I, I kind of went a little crazy. I, I don't know what happened to me, but I just thought this was so cute and it's perfect for fall. So we're gonna put that on the chair or on the little stool. And then another pot from Hobby Lobby. And then look at how cute these are. These are also from Hobby Lobby and they're little picks. And they were only like $1.99. Oh, excuse me, $3.99, but they were half off. So um, love the burgundy for fall this year. Again, a little bit different than I normally do. I'm usually just like a tan and orange kind of gal, but we are stepping out of our comfort zone and I'm actually loving it. So I'm gonna just add this to the stool here, like that. And then the last thing I wanna do here is add a little something something to the wall. All right, last I'm gonna add this cute um, art from Target. Also recent, I got this yesterday when I was at Target, like I said, I just couldn't help myself. And I have a push pin, I'm just gonna push pin it. These are all board and batten, so it's kind of tricky because obviously this doesn't end, I can't hang this perfectly square on there um, like I would want to, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Um, I think that looks cute. video here I know I said I was gonna share a floral arrangement with you but I think I'm gonna wait into that in another video because this one I think is getting already too long and I don't want to keep you here all day and all night so come back for that video it's gonna be great and let me know what you think about this hutch and the way I styled it and I'll have everything linked in the description box for you that I can and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye